What's going on Bellingham High School? It's Nick Santanastasso here and I just wanted to send you a message of love. I'm sending it your way. I know this is a crazy time, a time of uncertainty and craziness. And so I just wanna commend you and have you celebrate the fact that you are graduating despite all the craziness. So celebrate your wins, do whatever you need to do. Bust a dance, move out. But I just wanted to send my love your way. I had an amazing time spending with you in the beginning of the year. So finish strong, I'm thinking of you and I hope to see you soon. Send and love your way, Bellingham. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars Greetings class of 2020 and welcome to your online graduation. Something which none of us wanted, but here we are. Your accomplishments throughout these last four years have shown your unwavering dedication and commitment to our community. Everything from WE BHS and school spirit to your outstanding academic achievement in 4.0s. As the class of 2020, I think our most well-developed skill is making the best out of less than ideal situations. And while it's unfortunate that we had to develop this skill, it'll certainly help when you're 42 on your second, maybe third marriage, working as a real estate contractor with your degree in communications. But don't worry, your boss brings in free donuts on Tuesdays. Anyways, I'm not a fortune teller and I'm not here to tell you what to do with your life, but I am here to welcome you to the next chapter. Wherever any of you go, I'm sure that each and every one of you will find successes. Whether you become the next Bill Gates or TikTok famous, I wish you luck in your pursuits. First up in our ceremony is Selena Robinson, she was selected by the staff to represent our class. It's been real, guys. Enjoy the rest of the broadcast, and I'll see you all at the 10-year anniversary. Hey, class of 2020. We are finally here. And I know this is not where we pictured ourselves for graduation. In the beginning of senior year, maybe even before senior year, we've been thinking about our names being called, walking across the stage, and getting our diplomas turning the tassel together, hugging one another, and our amazing teachers and staff. That part of graduation is important, but what I most look forward to was sitting all together to honor everything we have accomplished and been through. And we have done a lot for BHS and for each other. And I hope that today we can feel honored and proud of the legacy we are leaving behind. This is a strange time to be graduating and living, and I'm so amazed by how we have continued to create the amazing school spirit and culture we have brought to BHS. I know that freshman year, we had no idea what was in store for us. We started as small freshman Hufflepuffs. Yeah, we were small once, and wow, have we grown. I think being assigned Hufflepuff for our freshman homecoming was incredibly fitting because I have seen so much loyalty from our class. Loyalty to each other, to this school, and to our community. We have truly embraced what it means to be active students at BHS, and I could not be more proud or grateful to have been a part of this loyal, inspiring, and committed group. 
If you think about it, we are actually living history right now. In years to come, people will look back on 2020 as a crazy, sad, and scary time to be alive. Our first year of life was marked by the tragedy and terror of 9-11, and our senior year is marked by this pandemic. However, I think our class is marked by much more than the struggles that have occurred in our lifetime. We are such an amazing group of people, and not only are we alive to experience this pandemic of 2020, but we are graduating with incredible grace. A big rite of passage has been stripped away from us, but we have taken it in full stride. And thanks to our amazing staff at BHS, our graduation is so memorable and fun. Driving through the BHS parking lot and seeing all the teachers and staff present to celebrate us really showed me how big of an impact our class has made on this school and all the members of our BHS community. I think our class can also be remembered by the change makers we all are. If we were all together now, I would say, as I look around the gym, I see a change maker in every face. Though we are not all in a room together, we are in this together for the long run. Our loyalty to creating a better world and our loyalty to one another will be so important in the years to come. We all have the ability and the opportunity to inspire the loyalty we have all demonstrated, whether it's loyalty to our family, career, or to creating a more equal and healthier planet. The world as we knew it will never be the same, and we have the opportunity to shape the future. I cannot wait to see the change we inspire and the people we become. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm so proud of all of us. As our ceremony continues, I am so excited to introduce our senior choir members singing One Day More from the musical Les Mis. The production was coordinated and produced by our very own Max Sorno. day another destiny this never-ending road to calvary these men who seem to know my crime will surely come a second time one day more i did not live until today how can i live when we are parted
Sometimes, I spill sauce on my shirt when I eat spaghetti. I used to be embarrassed by that, but this past year I had a baby, and watching him eat makes me realize how far I've come in my 32 years. You all have come a long way too. In your 18-ish years of life, you not only learned to eat, walk, and talk, but you've learned how to solve complex problems, make friends, discover, develop, and polish a skill, be a family member, these things are some of the most important things any human ever does, and you have done them. You are to be commended. Beyond that, you've spent 13 of those years in school, and today we celebrate that accomplishment specifically. Over that time, you've had to learn to read, write, become intimately familiar with numbers, and demonstrate some real understanding of the science that explains the world around us. You've read and discussed Shakespeare. You've analyzed the significance of Mansa Musa. You've built robots, performed on stage, written many papers, and finished many tests. You've done a lot, and doing all of that has required grit. It has required humility. It has required confidence. It has required learning when and how to ask for help, and it has required that help. Never forget the time, energy, care, and effort those around you have invested in your success. Your four years at BHS have required all of that and more. You've had to experience tragedy. You've had to learn how to cope with it and move forward. We stand here in the midst of a global pandemic, and you've had to learn how to cope with that and move forward. This is on top of the long list of successes and failures that inevitably come to each and every student, the specifics of which have characterized your own unique experience here at BHS. You've had to learn how to process in the moment, understand as best you could, and ultimately move forward from. You've done all of this with grace and enthusiasm. If I may speak for the staff here at BHS, and I suppose that's what I'm here for, the passion your class has shown in a variety of ways, but specifically by kicking off and embracing the We Are BHS theme was unique and refreshing. Everyone in this building is grateful to all of you. We are proud to be your teachers, administrators, coaches, and support staff. You have done well. Now I have to tell you, you must do well again. All the skills you developed in the four years at BHS, 13 years of school, and 18-ish years of life must be used again and again. They must be polished and kept sharp. Beyond that, they must be added to. You must continue to learn and grow and become more like yourself. And you will. You are talented and determined. You are enthusiastic and you are fun. You are raiders. And that will never change. Everyone here believes in you. So go do it again and again, and again, because that is what life is. And we welcome you to continue living it, no longer as our students, but as our peers. Congratulations, class of 2020. You have done well. Next in our program is a Shokin Farewell performed by your very own Brendan Gardner.
Dear class of 2020, change, it's inevitable. There will always be change in the world around us, whether it be negative or positive or even neutral, whether it's overcoming the terrible growth spurts in middle school, whether it's the seasons transitioning every year, whether it's my hairstyle, because for those of you that know me know that I switch it up quite often. The friend groups that we were close with when we entered high school are most likely different. Our interests can become different in high school as well. The things that we are passionate about change. Many of you all and I used to dread going to school because of our assignments, tests, homework, etc. But now we'd want nothing more for our school education wise to be normal again and for our senior year to end how it normally would end. Perceptions on what we did and didn't take for granted definitely changed. The culture at our school events went from attendance list to super fun and exciting. This year, most people participated on dress up days and showed enthusiasm during assemblies. That wasn't always the case. Our school spirit culture changed. As an individual and leader, I've changed. I never would have imagined me running for ASB president. As a freshman, I'd always wanted to become more involved, but I didn't really know how to. Then I realized that I could help make a difference in leadership class. The second semester of my sophomore year, I became enrolled in Mr. Goodwin's class, which showed me that I could be influential and a true leader at the same time. During these past four years, I've learned that leadership isn't always about the public speaking or being an outstanding athlete on the field. I learned that there's so many other aspects of leadership and so many forms and styles of it. One way is leading by example, which essentially is showing a good model for others to follow. Another style is called servant leadership. This means when one puts others before themselves when it may not directly benefit them. This could be volunteering or just giving a helping hand or even what our teachers and parents do to help us. There's varying leadership styles and types of leaders in general. So many different leaders that I've seen here at BHS. Even people that society wouldn't necessarily deem as leaders still can be. You don't need a title to be a leader. In all my years at BHS, I noticed that the ASB presidents before me were all males. Even if all the other roles in ASB executive group were females, the president was still always a guy. Then one day in the beginning of my junior year, I thought, why can't that be me? The rules didn't say I couldn't run. At that moment, my confidence levels changed. I knew I had the passion to run because I wanted nothing more than for the culture of our school to improve. I couldn't care less about how good it'd look on a college application or how it'd look on a resume or even how proud it'd make my parents. I genuinely wanted a bigger chance and opportunity to impact the change and environment on our school. Change obviously doesn't happen overnight, and you can technically do it alone or by yourself. However, it's so much easier if you have the help of others. The 2019 ASB team and some leadership students worked so hard to make a difference. We worked with Mr. Goodwin and administration to get things done. Mr. Goodwin one day in class brought up a brilliant idea of incorporating a school-wide theme for the school year. Him selling the idea was cheesy as usual. But who knew that some knockoff I Heart New York t-shirts would unify all sorts of groups at our school. We as a class did such a great job promoting our change in school spirit. This year, looking around and seeing students of varying backgrounds and groups wearing their We Are BHS shirts was so refreshing. It brought so much unity. I will never forget that on the first day of school, the first thing in the morning of our back to school assembly was Lily Jackson standing in front of everyone at our school and she really popped off. She said that in our past, our school spirit has sucked and that we are going to change it. And that's exactly what happened. It was a huge wake up call for everyone. After that, there was so much more hype around going to sporting events that people didn't really go to as much before. The more people involved, the better the environment. It became weird to not dress up during spirit days. Our freshman year, I remembered feeling a lack of connection and inclusivity. It felt so clicky among the groups at the school. During the spirit weeks, I felt weird if I dressed up because not very many people did, or I felt weird participating in assemblies that were meant to be fun. I was scared to participate. In the movies, high school seemed so fun, minus the singing and dancing because not everyone can sing and dance and have flash mobs 24 seven, besides maybe showstoppers. Anyways, instead, we had a culture of students skipping assemblies and not going to other sports matches besides football or basketball or not supporting unrecognized groups. But that all changed this school year. Think about that. As a class, we led by example, showing how fun high school could really be. We helped break a state record for attendance at a unified sanctioned event. That's so cool. As a class, we have accomplished so much. As a class, we did our part to change the culture of our school. Our four years are now up. We are an amazing, unique, gifted, kind, and welcoming class. I can't wait to hear about how each and every one of you does their part to inspire others and change the world.
Just like how we bound together and changed the culture of our school, we too can change the culture of this world. Be bold, proud, be courageous. We are forever BHS, class of 2020. Love, Jaden. Next up in our ceremony is a compilation of past band performances from the class of 2020. of 2020, while I wish that we could be together for this celebration, I'm happy that you are sharing this event with your family and other special people who have supported you throughout your lives. I'm grateful for the technology that allows us to view this ceremony together, whether we're just across town, on the other side of the country, or anywhere in the world. We are all together at this moment in time for one reason, to celebrate and honor the amazing Bellingham High School Class of 2020. And I truly believe that you are an indeed an amazing class. Howard Schultz, the successful Starbucks CEO, has a quote which I believe is meaningful in these challenging times. Howard knew adversity and struggle. He grew up in public housing in New York, and neither of his parents graduated from high school. Howard said, in times of adversity and change, we really discover who we are and what we're made of. Class of 2020, it didn't take a pandemic for you to experience adversity and change, although it has certainly provided additional opportunities. Throughout your four years at Bellingham High School, I have watched and admired your class respond to adversity and change. As you entered BHS, you shared your building with Options High School and graciously tolerated a new building principal. 
you continued to adapt through a major schedule change from six to eight class periods, as well as tweaks each year as we searched for the perfect time in Raider Aid. Along the way, you endured an uncooperative elevator, two new assistant principals, and numerous planned and unscheduled emergency drills, including our Burning Man experience. Beyond these annoyances, you experienced adversity in our school, community, and beyond. From the tragic loss of a good friend, to threats of climate change, school violence, misogyny, homophobia, racism, and more. In times of adversity and change, we really discover who we are and what we're made of. Class of 2020, we have already seen more than a glimpse of who you are and what you're made of, and it is impressive. You are a passionate group who sought to change the world through community marches, voter registration drives, and other efforts to protect environment and make the world safer and more inclusive. You are hardworking, talented individuals who gave amazing performances, created beautiful art and music, achieved personal goals, and won countless awards and titles. You are serious, dedicated scholars who challenged themselves through numerous rigorous courses. You are inspiring leaders who exploded our school spirit with We Are BHS, the Bellingham Battle, and an amazing unified basketball fill the house night. You are so much more than a graduating class impacted by COVID-19. Class of 2020, I have also witnessed your ability to be kind people and good friends to each other. Listen to what some of your teachers have said about your class. This class was and is a great group of friends. They weren't quiet and nervous as some classes can be. They had fun together and truly enjoyed being and learning together. They loved community and being part of something. They are kind and supportive of one another. I have seen countless examples of courage, compassion, deep feelings of connection, grief, sadness, tears, joy, laughter, and love from this class. The class of 2020 will be remembered by me as one of the most selfless, honest, and strongest classes ever. Class of 2020, I hope that you are so very proud of who you are and what you're made of. You have battled adversity and change during your time at BHS, and we are a better school community because of you. As you step into the next chapter of your lives, you will have countless opportunities to make this world a better place. We are counting on you. Another one of your teachers sums it up. You are making history, and we are so proud that you are the ones who will help establish new traditions and solve new problems. We love you, class of 2020, and we are so very proud of you. Dr. Baker, it is my sincere privilege to present to you the Bellingham High School graduating class of 2020. Welcome to the stage of our unique graduation for the class of 2020. Congratulations to all graduates and welcome to families, friends, community members, and other supporters of our outstanding graduates. I also want to acknowledge our school board and the important role they play in our district and community and extend their own congratulations to each of you. I know this isn't quite the way you envisioned your graduation, which is usually the culminating experience to celebrate your accomplishments over your 13 plus years in school. But how you reflect on your years with Bellingham Public Schools and how you remember this time, your senior year, and your final days as a student is up to you and it will shape your path moving forward. You are the narrator of your own story. I encourage you to think about whether you received any gifts as a result of this pandemic instead of what the quarantine took away. This is not a trick question or reverse psychology. Often when we experience hardships or disappointments or worse, tragedy, there are silver linings. And it's up to you to see them, name them, and choose to make them part of your story. I imagine many of you have spent considerable time reflecting on your friends, your teachers, your classes, even the hallways, or those lingering minutes during passing time or after school. You've probably been wishing you had gotten one last game or match or performance or afternoon with your team or club this spring. And you've probably thought about the events you had hoped would fill your days and evenings these last few months. I challenge you to allow gratitude in. Think about how much you have to be thankful for, about the time you did have with those beloved friends, those inspiring teachers, coaches, and advisors. 
about all of your important connections with other students and staff, and about your developing talents and passions. The moments with them might have been cut short this spring, but I hope you appreciate all you had and have in your life as you continue. I must show some appreciation too. Our seniors were longing for school. I'm grateful how many of you have reached out and expressed the importance of this day and this event. Usually the spring is filled with senior skip days, pranks, and senioritis. I'm thankful that you got to experience that part of your senior year at home. But truly, I believe the class of 2020 will be defined by this chapter in your story, which has brought out your thoughtfulness and perseverance. And I have faith in you. You are our future, and you are in the best position to influence our country and our world. As you reflect on the protests and events across our country, I encourage you to think about your role and what's next. Engage, persevere, and stand up against racism, bigotry, and hate. Your class will be among those to rise and meet the challenges. How do we heal? How do we amplify all voices in our community? We need your help as we strive for a more inclusive and diverse democracy. One that stands up for people who have been marginalized and victimized by the status quo. Your class will move us forward by registering to vote, by voting, and by staying engaged, your class has chosen to show grace and disappointment. Thinking back to the past few weeks here in Bellingham, I am not sure that there will be another class for whom picking up their cap and gown was such a celebration. There were balloons, happy tears, signs, honking horns, and lots of hands in the shapes of hearts. I'm not sure if we've ever had a class whom the entire community cheered for and supported with yard signs and local media. I want you to think about how those so-called lost months of your senior year will shape you. Maybe it'll pop up as extra care in choosing your job or your major. Maybe you'll be more thoughtful about how you fill your days, who you stay in contact with, who you choose to spend time with, or the relationships you develop. For better or worse, many of you will have roommates in the near future, and this one question will weigh upon you heavily. Could I quarantine with you for three months if I had to? Our district serves a wide range of students from preschool to 12th grade. And in sticking with the tradition of past graduations, I have checked in with some of our students to get advice and reflections for our graduates. I now bring you advice from our kindergartners. Our seniors are heading off to try something new. And one of the questions I asked our kindergartners would, was, what would you say to someone who's trying something new? Well, here's what a few of our kids said. They said, first, I would tell the graduates to take a no thank you bite, and if you don't like it, you don't have to do it anymore. But if you like it, then have good luck because you like doing it. If you want to try something new, you should gather a lot of your brave and swift side. You can do it. Just like the monkey bars at school, if you can do the lower green bars, then I bet they can do the higher red bars. On my fourth day of kindergarten, I could do the blue bars, and then four days later, I was able to do the green ones. And now I can do the red bars. Yay, never give up. Another question I posed to our brilliant kindergartners was, what does being a graduate mean to you? One kindergartner said, you get to stay home, but you'll have to take out the trash and do the dishes. Another says it means you get to wear a dress and you get to have a party because you finished graduating school. And another one said, it means you have done all of your work and you are proud of yourself and you are ready to move on to bigger things. Well said, kindergartners. I appreciate your advice every year. And to graduates, I am very proud of each and every one of you. And I know you're ready to move on to bigger challenges and triumphs. And as you narrate your story, may it be full of thoughtfulness, perseverance, and gathering a lot of your brave. Thank you and all the best. Kaylee Harrison Abshire. Madison Adams. Tara Afshari. Juan Ivan Alton.
Margarita Alvarado Velasco. Jonathan David Fast Horse Alvarez. Corey William Anderson. Hunter Anderson. Jacob Shima Anderson. Rylan Anstead. Lucas Arguello. Parker G. Arnold. Alexis Ashlock. Brian Ashmore. William Grayson Shelfont Atwell. Perla Ruby Ayala Aguilar. Gideon Tyler Batchelder. Ezra Baird. Andre Barron. Logan Nikolai Bartz. Brianna M. Bays. Everardo Betancourt Cruz. Graduating with a 4.0, Graceland Joy Bizanson. Sage Bigligans. Tiger A. Bigligans. Tess Billmeyer. Susanna Ruth Bloom. L. Boudreau. Evan Bradley. Cyrus E. A. Brands. Graduating with a 4.0, Mila Brooks. Anna Louise Brubaker. Mason A. C. Buendia. Nina Christian Bundy. Walker Scott Burnett. Madeline Abigail Butcher. Christina Calleros Martin. Ren Lillian Carlton. Ashlyn Carrion. Anna Wynn Cassidy. Morgan Jean Cavalier. Maria Kayash.
Parker, Gerald, Norman, Chamberlain. Ariel, Charles. Brody, Aaron, Chase. Milan M. Chavez Haley. Leela Childs. Noah Daniel Christiana. David James Clayton III. Justin Clementson. Christopher Charles Cochran McKenna. Jack Cohenauer. Elizabeth Coleman. Joey Charles Collinsworth. Amaya Marie Cook. Jillian Rose Cooper. Diego Corona. Graydon Hollis Croft. Aiden Salil Curry. Tyler S. Daly. Simon Dang. Kaylin Devaney. Samuel Riley DeYoung. Julian Donahue. Emma Dower. Austin Dubois. Graduating with the 4.0, Annabelle Durgan Johnson. Luba Lily Eisenhart. Graduating with the 4.0, Madeline Olson Ellis. Isabel Enright Down. Denali Renee Evers. Jacqueline Fabian Jaime. Abigail Farr. Ava Feingold. Jack Fields. Kennedy Elizabeth Flones. Haley Brooke Franzen. Audrey June Fry. Tristan S. Fuller. Julian Marcellus Furlong. Graduating with the 4.0, 
Brendan Gartner. Melanie Garfias. Paul Garrett. Noah N. Schroeder Geis. Rocky Dale Giss Jr. Symphony Ann Gleason. Anthony Grimm. Graduating with a 4.0, Ashley K. Grinstead. Courtney Monet Goodmanson. Jet Guthrie. Grant Hadfield. Logan Nathaniel Antwife Haynes. Angela Hall. Jude Campbell Hall. Harrietta Jo Wen Ling Hanley. Holly Lynn Hansen. Lacey Hardenbrook. Skylar Hardesty. Alice Georgetta Fusion Hardman. Joshua Tanner Hayes. Noah Allen Headwall. Aubrey Henriksen. Jonathan W. Henshaw. Savannah Rose Hensley Kello. Cynthia Isabel Hernandez. Cynthia Yvonne Hernandez Borjas. Connor Davis Heiser. Evan Cole Hibbing. Fiona V. High. Evan Hildreth. Anna Hipner. Lee Jelmseth. Hannah Hodge. Nicholas Grant Hoffman. Noah Sebastian Hugo. Ellie Hunter. Dane Malcolm Hutchings. Dylan Hun. Aliyah Elagan.
Lily Jean Osterman Jackson. Garrett W. Johns. Riley Lauren James. Adrian Jeffers. Joey Jeffers. John Paul Johnson. Olivia Rose Tive Johnson. Henry David Jones. Sophia Zickler Jorgensen. Alex Juber. Kaylee Nicole Cabo. Mitchell Patrick Keith. Julie Kendall Fellers. Nathan Kim. Ethan King. Graduating with a 4.0, Jensen Kinsel. Jack Henry Knowles. Connor Russell Knudela. Veronica Kokina. Khadija Crambo. Kylie Krulak. Sylvia Labrie Conrad. Olivia Autumn Lackland Henry. William C. Laliberte. Darius Lalonde. Joel Lamont. Leah Lomfier. Jennifer Landeros. Brianna Leal. Maxwell Lemke. Cameron B. Lewis. Lizzie Lewis Clark. Ivan Bernard Lydine. Jarek Raymond Lindsay. Josie May Rocket Lombardi. Catherine Osiris Lopez Arantes. Mia Ludwig. Joshua Stephen Lundy.
Tessa Lutton. Lily Marie Maltaire. Rex Manley. Isaac Marinkovich. Anthony Mark. Elijah Marquez. Ariana Mary Martin. Marley Martin. Brasida Martinez Villalobos. Finnegan Scott Mazza Cooper. Jaden Tyler McCann. Skylar McDonald. Connor Gardner McKay. Kate Helene McNutt. Sinclair Caitlin McSorley. Marlene Mendez. Melina Mendez. Austin Michael Miller. Jara Mariah Miller. Virginia Misezo. Sophia Morgan. Graduating with a 4.0, Jackson Morrow. Matea Mullen. In memoriam, Butch Jacobs Mullins. Matias Joseph Murphy. Noemi Myers. Saisha Brianne Nadro. Ty Wynn. Isaac Sol Nineman. Oleg Ivan Adushkin. Christopher C. Osterling. Mia Shirley Olson. Marcos Xavier Palma. Maya Tazni Peregrina. Joshua Michael Perry. Tessa Perry. Mark Henry Pickard. Chase Torntem Pietro.
Oscar Plum. Garrett Albin Prentice. Riley Kent Quigley. Gabriel Rainstorm. Zacharias Aaron Rainstorm. Addy Rathjen. Vanessa Reyes. Catherine Joy Ritchie. Selena Hannah Robinson. Benjamin Rorvig. Noah C. Rosario. Genevieve Sarah Rosenfeld. Jazelle Salazar. Monica Sanchez. Emily Jean Sandholm. Graduating with a 4.0, Zoe Caitlin Clark Sanford. Colum David Schaefer. Oscar Schmidt. Caleb Schmotzer. Eve Kamea Du Rocher Shedlick. Graduating with a 4.0, Julia Rachel Schwartz. Brooke Jaden Scott. Edgar Scott. Morgan E. Seastrom. Hayden Cena. Leah Elizabeth Serenagol. Brady Shirk. Jacob Levi Shirk. Sonam Kenzie Sherpa. Mia Sivert. Lena Jennifer Sloan. Luke Benjamin Smith. Riley Whitcomb Smith. Daniel Patrick Sperry. Emma Squires. Jaden Antonia Rose Stevenson. Carrie Clayton Stokes. William Lyle Story.
Matthew A. Sutherland. Maxwell Ethan Swarno. William Swanson. Jack Sankowitz. Taryn Taft. Jackson Taylor. Catlin Tin. Cody James Toll. Dylan Rafael Torres. Gabriel E. Trahan Halmy. Jennifer T. Tran. Thomas Tran. Andre M. Triplet II. Talis Carter Turk. Sarah May Tweet. Franklin Tomasi. Elliot Vall. Evan Van Meter. Caleb Vanderyot. Sonder Van Warden. Elijah Varga. Josephine Pearl Vietz Duncan. Gia Ni Vu. Lauren Walker. Dayton Waymeyer. Graduating with a 4.0, Oliver Wormus. Elizabeth West. Anthony DePriest White. Foster Norman White. Samantha May Whitman. Eden Whitney. Annie Wilfong. Kyla Williams. Melanie Jane Wilson. Isaac Scott Woolman. Christina Yasapoulos. Alexandra M. Yasapoulos. Chloe Young. Miles V. Yerk.
Abdul Yusuf. Mr. Rogers said, often when you think you're at the end of something, you're at the beginning of something else. Here we are today at the end of one big something that has been for the majority of our lives. We have made some of our closest friends and memories that will be with us for as long as we will be able to remember. This ending is not what we thought it was going to be, and it's not what we deserved. But do not let the lack of closure hold you back from stepping into the beginning that lies ahead of us all. Gandhi once said, you must be the change you wish to see in the world. Now more than ever is a time of change and the class of 2020 has always been one to embrace that. Whether it was bringing school spirit back to BHS or standing up for global issues like gun control, climate change, or anything else, as a class, we have stood up and spoken out. Sometimes we spoke all as one and sometimes we were completely individual, but no matter what, we were impactful in what we did. Going on beyond high school, keep remembering that. If you see a problem in your own life or in the world, boss up and change your life, to quote Lizzo. There will always be things that seem bad or wrong, and as a class, we learned how to tackle them. Now we are going out on our own. Our family, friends, and support systems stay, but we must take our voices and use them to speak your mind, even if your voice shakes, Maggie Smith, AKA Professor McGonagall. Today, we are faced with many decisions. Not only how we will use our voices, but so much more. We all have to decide what the next steps of our lives hold, or if we are going to turn in last week's homework or the many things of varying importance. But one of the most important decisions you will have to make is if you are going to use what you have learned in high school to enhance your future or keep wishing you were still here and that nothing had ever changed. Michelle Obama said, Every day you have the power to choose, which is so important to remember moving forward. You can think of the good where there was good and the bad where there was bad and use that to help your life be exciting and new. Or you can be stuck in these four years and that decision is yours to make. High school has felt like our whole lives for our time in it, but it will at some point only be a small moment. So make of it what you want. You have probably noticed the number of quotes I've used today from a variety of amazing people. But here's the thing about a quote. All these people were once just graduates and those quotes are just words unless you choose to do something with them. Class of 2020, I know we will all do different and amazing things. A quote is just words, like how we are all just people. Much like those words became impactful, so can we all in big ways, ways that may seem small or however you see yourself making the impact you want. Right now though, you don't need to know what that impact will be or even make any decisions. Right now, at this moment, it's about celebrating that we have come to the end of school and actually achieved something. Wherever you are, your couches, cars, dining room table, or anywhere else, may not feel like a celebration. It feels very much like a normal, well, as normal as anything can feel right now, day but let yourself feel excited. Excited that you just spent the last 13 years going to school and now you're done. Okay, you're sort of done, but don't think about all the things you have coming in your next chapter for a minute. In a second, I'll be done talking and you'll get to move your tassel. And hopefully you'll throw your cap even if no one is around. Try your best to make that moment as special as it should be. Imagine yourself in the gym, surrounded by your classmates, teachers, and family who have all seen you come this far. Imagine that we are all together as the class of 2020 one last time and try to throw your caps together too. This is the moment we've all seen in high school movies, right? And to leave you with one more quote, we are all in this together. So class of 2020, it has been my privilege to be your class co-president for the last four years and to grow up with you all. Now it's my great pleasure to say, move your tassel, You've done it, congrats.